now introduce this afternoon's um, show, Juanita's Magic Quest. So let me just give you a brief introduction. What if you were given the hardest task ever? Follow Juanita on the quest of a lifetime as she battles to protect her grandmother and the world itself from an unknown enemy. After being tricked into losing everything along the way, will she succeed in bringing harmony to the world against all the odds? This magical show has a crazy cast of characters, mesmerizing music and dramatic dance, featuring our friends from the Talentos Dance Company Colombia, Ballet Folklorico Tupamarca from Chile, the Barangay Folk Dance Troupe from the Philippines, and we also are very, very pleased to have with us some of the performers from the Taste of Africa, including Devonte, Hilaire Agnama, Amelia Leone, Tacey Easton, and Sofia Mendoza. So welcome to everyone, and I hope you enjoy Juanita's Magic Quest. Our traditional tale begins in Colombia, a beautiful, diverse country in South America. It is a land full of vibrant colour, dramatic landscapes, music and dance. and in saving the world, 
she might also save her beloved grandmother. Juanita is overwhelmed with the task she's been given. This is such a huge responsibility. And besides, she has no idea where to start or what to do. She can't just wander around the world asking it what's wrong. But just as she's about to give up hope, Freddy the fairy suddenly appears. Juanita! Don't worry! I'm here! <laughs> I have for you a special child. Magical! Like my heart! <laughs> can go everywhere! This one, you put around you and you start your spirit. And a speed, and a speed, and you can go anywhere in the world. wraps the shawl around her and she begins to spin just like Freddie showed her. Surprisingly she doesn't feel dizzy and in no time at all she's arrived by a rock at the foot of the Andes where a huge condor sits. tries and tries to ask him about the special herb, but after a good few hours of talking and pointing and miming, it's obvious that condors just don't understand human. Juanita sits down on a nearby rock and sighs. How is she going to save her grandma when she can't even complete this first task? And just then, she hears the eerie but soothing sound of flutes floating and echoing in the breeze all around her. And just like a miracle, the condor seems to suddenly understand
After several hours, the condor returns with the precious herb. and successful day and she's feeling very sleepy. So Juanita curls up in her shawl and she falls into a deep, deep sleep. Early the next morning, Juanita cradles her magic flower in the palm of her hand and whispers for Freddy. Testing her character. 
Jumping out of his hiding place behind the tree, he transforms into a poor old man covered in cuts and bruises. He tells her he was set upon by a gang of thieves and left for dead, and he pleads with her to help him. Straight away, Juanita gives him the magical curing herb from the top of the Andes. And Nancy then dances around in delight. <laughs> How could a Nancy be so mean? She knows she should never have given that precious herb away after the condor went so far to get it for her. But how could she leave a poor old man in trouble? She didn't know it was a Nancy just pretending. Perhaps he's lonely, she thinks. Juanita decides to reach out to a Nancy. Perhaps if she keeps being kind, he will realize he can be kinder too. So she gives him her beautiful special flower as a gift. His eyes light up and he grabs it from her, scuttling back to his tree, laughing. And Nancy has fooled her again. Realising she now has no way of calling to Freddy for help, Juanita starts to feel very alone and afraid. Not only has she lost the herb and her magic flower, but she has no way of knowing where to go next. She begins to cry and cry and cry. Just then, a Nancy appears, smiling. This time it's a nice, friendly grin, cheeky but nice. And quite shyly, a Nancy thanks her for being such a good friend. And he confesses that when he thought people didn't like him, he covered up his hurt by being mean. I'm a gift for you. Take this. This is a wish. You get this, and you can you as a gift. As they hug to say goodbye, somewhere across the ocean, a sick old woman begins to feel a warm, comforting glow. Juanita takes her magical shawl and wraps it carefully around her and she spins off across African deserts over the Indian Ocean all the way to the Philippines. Juanita needs to find the Queen. Finally, out of curiosity, she starts to follow a strange sound that resembles firecrackers her to a large palace on a hill where she discovers it's not a firecracker after all, but typically a very tricky looking dance that's happening in the palace courtyard.
Santa doesn't know what to do. She was so busy dancing, she didn't see her arrive. Oh no, she's in trouble now. How could she forget to bow for the Queen? So she decides to give her the present that Anansi gave her, the special web. And the Queen smiles. At that moment, she, they hear the beat of the tinnickling sticks. And then the drums start to sound. How is she hearing all the drums all the way from Colombia?
believe death is won.
questions that we would like to make. First of all, I'd like to invite our friends from Taste of Africa to come forward, please. Thank you very much and thanks to Kat for directing. 